it yet again, keeping the streak unbroken. Peace War is gonna be your lead jammer. Hurtorito, meanwhile, less than half a lap behind, trying to catch up. And it looks like the Price Slasher stole a point in that jam. Markdown still yet to get on the scoreboard in this first bout of, of this of 2023's black and blue scrimmage. <laughs> and it looks like those whistles are from coming from track two. And jamming for the markdowns, we've got Anarchy number 801. Gonna be joined by number 25, Sugar Snaps. Oh, and the Markdowns have lead jam, and Sugar Snaps is getting called out on a track cut. This will be a power jam for the Markdowns, and a power jam could not have come at a better time for the, skate, for the Markdowns, but the Price Slashers are doing their level best to keep Anarchy from scoring. We have a great three wall of yellow here at the front of the pack and anarchy still trying to wor working her way through that scoring pass bruiser is not giving a single inch single inch gonna be joined by Tracula and here comes Queenie Chewy trying to break up that wall Oh, big hit there from the Price Slashers pivot. Number zero, that was number zero, Trackwa. Anarchy gets back onto the track, taking a tumble there from the ground, calls it off. And the markdowns are on the board with four very, very hard fought points. And meanwhile, Price Slashers have their jammer out of that penalty box. It is number 27, Peace War, on the jam line. Going to be joined by number 55, Queen of Hearts, jamming for the markdowns. And right away, we got some jammer on jammer love off the jam line, and the Price Slashers do it again. Peace War is going to be your lead jammer. But number 55, Queen of Hearts, down but not out, and she does it again. Four points going on the board for Peace War, and four points also going on the board for the Markdowns. Queen of Hearts matching Peace War point for point there. The Queen finally calls it off. 4-4 four, four jam on that one. Number 6-1-12 skating up to the jam line for the Price Slashers. That is somebody who's not on my list here and number one eight seven slamlet jamming again for the markdowns and look at that slamlet is going to be your lead jammer Bryce Lashes jammer meanwhile still trying to work her way out of that pack and she does it again one two three Four points for the markdowns. And we are just one point away from a lead change, sports fans. And I think we have it in one, two, three, four. The markdowns have officially skated into the lead by just three points. Price Slashers Jammer still stuck in the pack. And Slamlet not letting up four more points. For the markdowns. And the Price Slashers jammer still trapped on that initial pass. That is Peach number 612. Slamlet coming around for another four points. Flame, 
meanwhile, going to lead <laughs> Gail. I think that's Gail jamming for the price slashers. Slam let meanwhile not slowing down. That is another four points for the markdowns. Slam let might just be skating this jam out, and she does it again. One, two, three, four more points for the markdowns. The pack almost at a standstill on the turn. Slam let ducking and dodging and weaving, riding out that clock. What an incredible jam by Slamlet. That's catapulting the markdowns into the lead at 36 points. I, I'm no mathematician, but that was a 32-point jam for Slamlet. What an amazing jam that was. And we have just, we are resetting on the track. That is number 331 Hemlocked out there jamming for the markdown. Somebody with a white number that I can't read is jamming for the price slashers. That is Gadget out there. Number 101 jamming for the price slashers. Gadget stuck in the middle of the pack. And, oh, almost out. Hemlock, meanwhile, at the back. And Gadget is going to be lead jammer. Hemlock, meanwhile, almost out of that pack, taking a hit from the invisible blocker. Number 27 is going to force her to the back of the pack. And that is going to be the jam. Double goose egg on that one. And unfortunately, Gadget. Gadget picked up a penalty at the end of that last jam. This is going to be another power jam for the markdowns. And it is number 18, Herterino, on the jam line. Herterino, of course, longtime skater for Lansing Roller Derby, making strides as a jammer in this black and blue scrimmage, normally holding her own as a blocker. Herterino catapults through the pack. She will get, she's going to be your lead jammer. Herterino hitting that pack at full speed, coming up against some resistance from the Price Slashers pivot. She's looking for that hole on the inside, not going to find it. Oh, and she cuts right through Slamlet and Dracula. Four more points on the board for the Markdowns. Gadget, meanwhile, back in the mix out of that penalty box. We've got, ooh, not, good, not, looking good, not looking good for the Price Slashers. Two of their blockers coming out of the penalty box. Herterino coming around for four more points. Gadget has her work cut out for her. Markdowns, of course, at full strength in the pack. And Herterino's going to whip around past the Bruiser, leaving Bruiser in the dust. Four more points on the board for the Markdowns. Demolition, meanwhile, doing a dynamite job. See what I did there? Holding that blocker line down, keeping Gadget trapped in the pack. Herterino coming around for four more points. Definitely taking advantage of this penalty trouble that Martin, the Price Slashers are in. We have our first star pass of tonight's bout. It's number 10, Zaddy Lawn Legs taking the star for the Price Slashers. And Herterino scores four more and calls it off. And what seemed like a sure thing from the Yellow Brigade has now transformed into a big lead for the Markdowns. And we are less than halfway through this first half. Markdowns at 56, Price Slashers at 16, a 40-point game. And thanks large part to that runaway 32-point jam courtesy of Slamlet. So right now we've got Anarchy, number 801 on the jam line for the Markdowns. Going to be joined by number 999, Witch Slap of the Price Slashers. And Anarchy is going to be your lead jammer. Anarchy, meanwhile, coming around on that initial pass, on that first scoring pass. Witch Slap, meanwhile, getting recycled to the back. Going to have to start her first pass all over again. 
Anarchy coming up against a four wall there on turn two. And it's not looking good. Number 333 three, three of the Price Slashers, Ruby Bruiser, holding that line down and using a little hip action to get Anarchy out of the way. An Anarchy falls in the middle. But Witch Slap coming up against problems of her own in the back of that pack. Oh, Witch Slap finally out on that initial will not be, <laughs> not lead jammer. And five. And Anarchy taking a hit to the outside, calls it off from the ref lane. Four point, but that looks like Anarchy did score four more points there for the markdowns. Coming up to the jam line for the markdowns, we have number 55, Queen of Hearts, and number 14, Felony Assault going to be jamming for the Price Slashers. Felony Assault, um, Flint veteran, run normally for blocking for Coach Cotton and the Flint team making strides as a jammer here during this black and blue scrimmage. Felony takes a hit to the outside, has to line up to the back of the pack. That was all the queen of hearts needed. She's going to be your lead jammer. Felony, meanwhile, still on that initial pass. Oh, and look at that. A hop, skip, and a jump through. And Queen of Hearts picks up four. Felony, meanwhile, is trapped in the pack, working her way on that initial almost out. Nice hit by number 68, Flame of the Markdowns. Four more points on the board there for the Queen of Hearts. Oh, hitting that pack at full speed. Did you guys see, see that going to the outside, then the inside, boxing the track like a boss. Four more points on the board for the Queen of Hearts. And the markdowns quickly approaching that first century mark with just over 15 minutes left to go. Felony, meanwhile, stuck in the pack on that initial pass. That is some nice blocking there, courtesy of Triple Eight there from the markdowns. Not sure who that is, sorry. Hazel Razor, number 888 of the markdowns. So that's four more points going on the board there for the Queen of Hearts, and we have a star pass from the Price Slashers at number 27, Peace War taking the star over and running that. And it appears that the Queen of Hearts may just be running out that clock. Meanwhile, Peace War putting four points on the board for the Price Slashers just as the jam comes to a close. And we have a 59 point game here. Markdown's at 83, Price Slashers at 24. And Price Slashers have put number zero, Traqua, on the jam line. And she's going to be joined by doo -doo -doo, Hemlock, number 331 of the Markdowns. Oh. Number zero, that is Dracula. That is Dracula. Both, jammer, both jammers working their way through on the initial pass. Oh, number six doing a nice job blocking. We've got a jammer and a blocker pile up. And Dracula is going to be your lead jammer. Hemlocked, meanwhile, oh, there, Hemlocked out. She'll not be your lead jammer. And Dracula on that initial pass. Mark Downs are lying in wait. It's not, ro it's not rocket science. Coming up hard against Dracula there on turn three. Get Jagovich trying to break up that wall. Farrell going to come in for an assist. Dracula. It's not rocket science. Almost single handedly keeping. Oh, nice hit there. 
from Snot Rocket Science. Oh, she's going to go to the penalty box for that hit. And Dracula scoring four points there for the Price Slashers. Hemlocked Mewell on that scoring pass. The Warhol is going to come into the penalty box and have a sit for that hit. Sit for that hit. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. Dracula coming up hard against that Mark Downs pivot at the front of the pack. We it's pivot on pivot as the Mark, as the Mark Downs pivot tries to... I lost my train of thought there. But that's going to be the jam. Looks like in that last jam, both Dracula and Hemlock put four points up for their teams. That's going to bring the mark downs up to 87, just 13 points below that century mark. Price Slashers now at 32, and we have just over 11 minutes left in this first half of this weekend's first bout, this 2023 black and blue scrimmage. And we have on the jam line for the Price Slashers, number 999, that's somebody. And that slam lit coming around. Jamming again for the markdowns. That is Witch Slap, number 999, jamming for the Price Slashers. Slamlet coming around for that scoring pass. Coming up against some resistance there on the inside line. She calls it off, decides to, and it looks like she picked up two points there for the markdowns. Price Slashers held scoreless. Oh, and it looks like the Price Slashers jammer picked up a penalty there. This is going to be a power jam for the Markdowns. And we have Herderino, number 18, on the jam line. And Herderino come, coming through on the outside will be your lead jammer. Pack is at a standstill on turn one. Herderino's got to get past number 14, Felony Assault, and the, that's four more points on the board for the markdowns. And Herderino's got a blocker trying to break up that wall of blue and Getting, once again, getting past Felony Assault. Herderino puts four more points on the board for the markdowns. That's going to bring him up to 97, just three points to go below that century mark. Meanwhile, Witch Slap is out on the initial pass. That is one, and let's, one, two, three, four points for the markdowns. They have officially crossed the century mark at 101 points. Price Slashers at 32. And on the jam line for the Price Slashers, we have number 10, Zaddy Longlegs. Going to be joined by number 805, 2.0, I believe, for the Markdowns. Oh, never mind. That is Anarchy jamming for the Markdowns, number 801. And both jammers stuck in. The pack is spread way out on turn one. Four leaf clobber, number 317, doing a dynamite job on Zaddy. She's got to let her go. Zaddy Longlegs is your lead jammer. Oh, look at making it look easy. Zaddy comes through on the inside for her. Three, I believe that was three. A point, no point, no pass situation possibly. Anarchy, meanwhile, taking a hit to the outside on the turn. Four Leaf Clobber takes a swing and a miss. Four more points for Zaddy Longlegs. Price Slasher's making a bit of a comeback in this jam. Pivot on pivot action, meanwhile, for front of the pack. Oh no, it's a jammer blocker pile up. Zaddy calls it off from the floor. 
holding the mark, and Markdown's held scoreless in that jam, but that's gonna bring the Price Lashers up to 40. 61 point game with just seven and a half minutes left to go. Oh, never mind. Chip, chip signals to the scorekeepers. Price Lashers at 44, Markdown's at 101. And the Price Slashers have number three, Poppy Goblin on the jam line. Gonna be joined by number six, Snot Rocket Science of the Markdown. Snot Rocket Science is of course one of our visiting uh, coaches for one of our many clinics this weekend. Oh, and then number three, Poppy Goblin takes a big hit out of bounds there. Oh. Slamlet, meanwhile, going to come in, have a sit in the penalty box. Not Rocket puts one, two, three, four points on the board for the markdowns. Poppy Goblin, meanwhile, out on that first pass. And at Snot Rocket Science tries to signal to her pivot, gives it up and calls it off, but Snot Rocket stole one more point there in that jam. Price Lash is held scoreless. We got Witch Slap number 999 back on the jam line for the Price Slashers. And number 55, Queen of Hearts coming back to jam for the Markdowns. Oh, and the Queen of Hearts making it look easy. Hop, skipping a jump through the inside. She's gonna be your lead jammer. Witch Lap, meanwhile, has to get past one, two more markdowns. Oh, it's out of play. They got to let her go. Queen of Hearts, meanwhile, coming on that scoring pass for four. Very dainty call off there. Holding the Price Slashers scoreless. And we have number 27 on the jam line for the Price Slashers. That's gonna be Peace War. And gonna be joined by number 331, Hemlocked of the Markdowns. And jammer on jammer action right off the bat. We love to see it. Peace War doing her best to hit Hemlocked to the outside. That gives number 28. Five sugar snaps time to come in and assist there. It's a wall, uh, it's a tight, tight pack here. Oh no, Peace War getting called out on a multiplayer block. This is gonna be a power jam for the markdowns. Hemlock, meanwhile, falling to her knees down on the turn, but she's out. She will be your lead jammer. Oh, it looks like the Price Slashers have also lost their pivot for this jam. It is Sugar Snaps on her way to the penalty box. Oh, big hit from number 122, Wicker Wench of the Price Slashers. That hit, of course, is out of play. Wicker is on her way to the penalty box. Hemlocked, meanwhile, putting four more points on the board for the markdowns. Oh, skate through on the inside. Big hit there from Peace War, fresh out of that penalty box. Hemlocked is in the rough lane, taking a cue from the team. She calls it off. Peace War held scoreless in that jam. We've got number three, Poppy Goblin on the jam line for the Price Slashers. Could be joined by number six, Not Rocket Science for the Markdowns. And it's Not Rocket coming up against that pack at full speed. She's gonna be your lead jammer. Poppy Goblin, meanwhile, looking for that hole, getting sucked back, almost out, getting sucked back into the pack. Snot Rocket comes around for four points, making it look easy. 
Poppy Goblin still stuck in that pack on the turn, going for the star pass. Markdowns, of course, doing their best to block that pass. And just a look over, quick look over her shoulder. Snot Rocket calls, score, scores four more and calls it off, bringing the markdowns up to 126. Price Slashers at 44, and we have just two and a half minutes left to go in this first half. And it's number zero, Tracula, on the jam line for the Price Slashers. Going to be joined by number 18, Herderino of the Markdowns. Both packs, at, both teams at full strength, five on five. Dracula, meanwhile, hitting her way through that line of blue, and Dracula is going to be lead jammer. Herderino, meanwhile, doing her level best to keep up. Pack is moving pretty fast, pretty good clip there. Dracula looking for that hole, almost finds it on the outside. Meanwhile, Herderino sneaks up behind, comes around for four points. And the markdowns doing some nice teamwork there at the back of that pack, keeping Dracula contained. Dracula, of course, still lead jammer even though Herderino's now the lead score-wise in this jam. That does happen, that can happen. Slamlet and Bio doing a nice job holding that line together. Bio takes a hit from the invisible blocker there. And that's all that Dracula needs to come around for four points. Herderino, meanwhile, also coming around for four. Dracula coming around on her second scoring pass. Big hit there from Slamlet of the markdowns. And mid-pack, Dracula decides to call it off. It looks like, uh, let's see, that's going to bring the, that jam is going to bring the price slashers up to 50 points. Markdowns at 134, and we have just 30 seconds left to go. Time for one more jam in this first half. Number, 80, number 801 Anarchy back on the jam line for the markdowns, and that is number 27 Peace War jamming for the price slashers. And you know, Peace War already clear, already a very aggressive jammer. Aggression, of course, very much a good thing in this sport. Anarchy looks like she's trying to get away. Peace War attempting to sneak through the uh, inside, not working out quite that well. She's coming up against Four Leaf Clobber at the front of the pack. But Peace War comes through. She's going to be your lead jammer. Anarchy, meanwhile, has to recycle to the back there. Nice two wall there in the front, courtesy of the Price Slashers. Peace War, meanwhile, coming back around for four points. And Anarchy taking a hit to the outside from Socket Wench. Peace War coming up against, oh, that is Hazel Razor and Four Leaf Clobber holding it down in the pack. Oh, it takes a big hit off of Bio on Bio there. Jam, it's jammer on jammer action. Peace War hits Anarchy to the outside. Wicked Wench headed to that penalty box. And Anarchy out of that pack won't be your lead jammer. Peace War comes out for four. Anarchy, meanwhile, on that first scoring pass. Anarchy coming around for three points. Peace War, meanwhile, on Peace War, come to a stop almost. Jammer on Jammer, Anarchy comes in for a little, for a little love tap there on Peace War. Both Jammers coming around for four. And it doesn't look like Peace War is going to be calling it anytime soon. This is interesting. <laughs> Peace War doing her best to hit Anarchy out of bounds there. Peace War getting uh, hung up a little bit on the markdowns there at the back of the pack. Jam is whistled dead, and it looks like Peace War did pick up another point. And now we're at intermission. See you in five.
Welcome back, sports fans. So we're back in the action. Very short intermission Black here at Black and Blue Scrimmage. It's number three, Poppy Goblin, skating for the Price Slashers. Number six, Snot Rocket Science, jamming for the markdowns. And Snot Rocket is going to be your lead jammer. Poppy, meanwhile, still on that initial pass. And just like a hot knife through butter, number six, Snot Rocket Science is coming around for four points. Poppy Goblin, meanwhile, out on that initial pass. Oh, Jammer, blocker on blocker there in the middle of the pack. It's not Rocket Science coming up against Peace War there, calls it off. And it's not Rocket picked up a couple, a couple more points there for the markdowns. And we have an 80 point game. Price Slashers at 64, markdowns at 144. And the Price Slashers have put number 101, Gadget, on the jam line. Going to be joined by number 187, Slamlet, for the markdowns. And we have... And we have an official time out. And uh, our referee, the great Cornholio, headed over to the scorekeeper's table. Everyone watching, we have some, we do have a few vendors here this weekend. We've got uh, two skate shops whose names I do not remember, selling bearings, mouth guards, laces, all the things your little derby heart dreams of. You can buy them right here. And of course, make sure you check out our hosts, Lansing Roller Derby's merch table. They've got t-shirts, hats, beer cozies, you name it, they have it at their merch table located right by the entrance. Our concession stand is also open. I'm not sure what all they've got, but I did, sell, I did smell popcorn on my way in, so I can assume that is on the menu. And it looks like we're back into action here. That is Gadget, number 101 on the jam line for the Price Slashers. And before I could even say her name, it is 187 Slamlet jamming for the markdowns. And she's going to be your lead jammer. Oh, nice hit there from Sun Damage of the Price Slashers. Slamlet, meanwhile, coming back around for four points. Gadget, meanwhile, still on that initial pass. Slamlet coming around on the outside for another four points. <coughs> Slamlet skipping through on the inside. Calls it off. But it looks like... Slamlet picked up two more points, holding the Price Slashers scoreless in that jam. We almost have a 100-point game, sports fans. Markdowns at 159, Price Slashers at 64. And we've got number 14, Felony Assault, back on the jam line for the Price Slashers. Going to be joined by number 801, Anarchy, for the Markdowns. We've got a very tight pack here on the straightaway. Felony almost out, she's gotta get through one, two more blockers, and Felony Assault is gonna be lead jammer. And a nice recycling there from Gail of the Price Slash, it's gonna make Anarchy go all the way to the back of that pack. Four Leaf Clobber, meanwhile, giving Felony Assault a hard time in the pack, but Felony comes around for one, two, three, four points for the Price Slashers. And Anarchy, meanwhile, still stuck on that initial pass. This is exactly what the Price Slashers need. Felony scoring another four points. For the Price Slashers, gonna keep right on going. 
Anarchy taking a hit to the outside by Weird Al Smackovich. Smackovich has to let her go. And just as Anarchy gets out of the pack, Felony calls it off. Four more points on the board for the Price Slashers. Bringing them up to 76. Markdowns at 159. And a few more jams like that. The Price Slashers could very well catch up to the markdowns in this second half. We've got Queen of, Queen of Hearts, number 55, on the jam line for the Markdowns, number three, uh, Poppy Goblin, out, out there for the Price Slashers. Poppy Goblin, meanwhile, getting stuck to the back by number seven and number 15 of the Markdowns. And that is all that Queen of Hearts needs. She is going to be lead jammer. Poppy Goblin, meanwhile, not that far behind. Oh, and look at that! And Queen takes a hit from the invisible blocker on the turn three and calls it off. Four points on the board for the markdowns. And we have Sugar Snaps, number 25, on the jam line for the Price Slashers. The Markdowns have Hemlocked back out there wearing the star for the Mark... I just said, I just said Markdowns. I guess I don't need to repeat that. Sugar Snaps, meanwhile, fighting her way through the wall of blue at the front of the pack. Number 149, putting up a fight there. Uh, Flame going to come in to assist. Herterino also holding it down. Two longtime Lansing veterans there holding down that blue line at the front of the pack. Hemlock, meanwhile, stuck at the back of that pack. Sugar, Sugar Snaps taking a hit to the outside there. Sugar Snaps finds a little tiny hole on the inside and she takes it. She's going to be your lead jammer. Hemlock, meanwhile, taking a hit there from Witch Slap on the inside. Hemlock, of course, still on the initial pass. Sugar Snap now on her scoring pass. Bio holding down that line there. Witch Slap going to try to break it up. And in defeat, Sugar Snaps calls it off. But Sugar Snaps did score two points there for the Price Slashers. We've got number 27, Peace War, on the jam line for the Price Slashers. Number six, not rocket science out there, jamming for the markdowns. And it looks like we had a little bit of jammer on jammer action. Just as the whistle blows, not rocket science coming around. She's going to be your lead jammer. But Peace War is now out, will not be your lead jammer. It's not Rocket Science coming up on that first scoring pass. She's got to get past number one, two, two, Wicker Wench. Oh, and Peace War. Oh, never mind. I thought Peace War might be headed to the penalty box, but no, that was just not Rocket calling it off. Oh, I didn't see the ref's hand there, but that's going to bring the markdowns up to 166. Price Slashers at 78. And we've got Smackovich, 19 December 1978, jamming for the first time this evening for the Price Slashers. Number 801, Anarchy, on the jam line for the Markdowns. Oh, making it look easy. Smackovich comes in ar coming around. She is going to be your lead jammer. But Anarchy also out. Oh, and Smackovich coming up in some trouble in the pack there from those pesky markdowns blockers. Oh, Smackovich has to start all over at the back of the pack. Anarchy, meanwhile, putting up one, two, three, four points on the board for the markdowns. Oh, Smackovich coming around for one, two, three, four points, taking a direction from the bench. She calls it off. That's four points for the Price Slashers.
got Witch Slap number 999 on the jam line for the Price Slashers, number 55, Queen of Hearts for the Markdowns. And Queen of Hearts, not a flashy jammer by any means, but a very steady, very reliable one. Definitely no stranger to the star. And just as I'm saying that, the Price Slashers jammer Witch Slap becomes lead. But look at the way Queen of Hearts is getting low, working the track of those crossovers, on track to Eclipse. Witch Slap here, force a call off, and see, I predicted it. Queen of Hearts stealing two points there. One, on, one going on the board for the Price Slashers. Peace War back on the jam line for the Price Slashers, number 27. And this is not rocket science, number six jamming for the Markdowns. Peace War cutting through on the inside. She is like, damn it, I am not letting, I am not letting Stock Rock, Stock Rocket get lead jam one more time. And she's signaling to her pack to keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Peace War, meanwhile, can't quite outrun Snot Rocket, calls it off, double goose egg on that jam. We got Hemlock, number 331, lining up there on the jam line for the markdowns. And it is number 612, Gale, out there for the Price Slashers. Gale has a very long name, of which Gale is the last word, and that is all I can read from here. And right away, part of a pre-planned strategy, we've got a star pass from the Price Slashers. Hemlock, meanwhile, comes out. She's going to be your lead jammer. It is Poppy, number three, taking the star for the Price Slashers. Poppy, meanwhile, stuck in the pack. Oh, and Hemlock going out on a penalty. This is going to be a power jam for the Price Slashers. And exactly what they need at this juncture. And number three, Poppy Goblin, of course, not your lead jammer, but can obviously can still score points. And probably exactly what she intends to do here. Demolition, meanwhile, holding down the line of blue there at the front of the pack. Poppy's got her work cut out for her. Demolition almost hitting her to the outside. Felony comes in to break up that wall for her blocker. And, oh, Felony's going to go to the penalty box for whatever that was. And Poppy Goblin coming out and still won't be your lead jammer. Hemlock, meanwhile, the penalty box, big hit there from number 612, Gale. Oh, another hit there on Poppy. Demolition also <laughs> going to come in and hit Poppy to the outside. Hemlock also getting hit to the outside from the mar from the Price Slashers. That's a lot of hitting going on in that pack. Meanwhile, looks like Hemlock put three, four? I'm not sure. I didn't see how many fingers Chip had up there. Points on the board. Chewy doing a number on Poppy there. Oh, big hit there from smack a bitch Oh, that's going to be the jam. It looks like the Price Slashers did score one more point there at the end of that jam. Hemlock still in the middle. We got the medic coming over.
Also, Derby fans, don't forget Sunday this weekend at 1 o'clock, we are going to have Team Michigan tryouts, the first of three tryouts this winter. Was it winter yet? Sure feels like it. For Team Michigan, we're going to have skaters from all over the state competing to see who will represent Michigan on the national stage competing as Team Michigan in Flat Track Roller Derby. Also, don't forget to check out some of our skate gear we have for sale, courtesy of our lovely vendors. We have laces, we have wheels, we've got toe stops, we have laces, we've got helmets, you name it, they got it. You know you've been needing some new gear and you're just not patient enough to wait for Santa. Please check it, check it out. Make sure you check out some of our vendors here at this Black and Blue weekend. We've also got Lansing Roller Derby, our hosts for yet another Black and Blue scrimmage. Got their merch table set up right by the entrance there and make sure to check out their, their selection of shirts, tanks, hats, cozies, you name it. They've got it. Also, you having fun here on track one. Make sure you stick around for the 705 game. That's going to be the Junior Roller Derby Gravy Boats versus the Potato Mashers. And meanwhile, on track two at 705, we have the mixed black and white all gender scrimmage Cyber Mondays versus Black Fridays on track two coming up in just 15 minutes. And I can see with 16 and a half minutes on the clock, we're already going to be a little bit behind schedule. Timeout, of course, still in progress. And it looks like the Price Slashers jammer picked up a penalty on that during that last jam. So when, when we get started, uh, we're going to have a power jam for the markdowns. We have, as a matter of fact, we have a full weekend of bouts here at the Ingham County Fairgrounds. Tomorrow, the action's going to start at 5.20 on track one and track two. And the uh, competitors in tomorrow's bouts will, of course, be determined by the winners and losers of today's bouts. Back into action, it is Anarchy number 801 on the jam line for the markdowns. Price jammers, of course, price sliders, of course. Jammer stuck in that penalty box. Peace War is gonna force Anarchy to the back of that pack. Peace War motioning the other price slashers to join her there. Peace War's gonna force Anarchy <laughs> damn near all the way around that track. Peace War, of course, one of our visiting coaches here this weekend putting on some of the clinics we're going to have Friday and Saturday. I guess we already had Friday's clinics. I mean, we'll be, there'll be more tomorrow. Poppy Goblin is out of that penalty box going for the star pass to Witch Slap, number 999. Peace War, meanwhile, doing a dynamite job on Anarchy there. Wicked Wench gonna come in for an assist. Anarchy well at, stuck at the back of that pack there. Witch Slap, meanwhile, can't even get the helmet cover on her head. Those mark, those pesky markdowns, man, they won't even let a girl change her helmet panty. Peace War doing it again, forcing Anarchy to the back of that pack. Any jammer that's been stuck behind a pack long enough knows just how hard it is to get out once you're there. And we have number, we have four and 
Bolt finally coming in to break up that pack for Anarchy. Four Leaf Clobber of coming in for the potential star pass. Should Anarchy, yep, Anarchy is gonna go for that star pass to Four Leaf Clobber. Four Leaf Clobber taking that star penny. Peace War doesn't miss a beat. Starts blocking Clobber like it's her job, which right now I guess it kinda is. And we got up the successful star pass from the markdowns. Four Leaf Clobber now gonna be Jammer. Oh, and that's going to be it. Two minutes has passed with not a single point scored. What an intensely, what a lot, that's a lot of intense blocking. And it uh, looks like Price Slashers still have a, oh, Jammer back in the penalty box, I believe. I think uh, came out, then had to go right back in. Oh, cruel misfortune. 14 minutes left to go in the second half. It's not rocket size number six. Also, one of our visiting coaches this weekend on the jam line for the markdowns. And surprising no one's not rocket science is going to be your lead jammer. Oh, Herdorino, meanwhile, trying to break up that wall, that two wall there. First, Not Rocket. Not Rocket takes advantage. Four points going on the board for the markdowns. Both, meanwhile, we got both jammers in. Not Rocket coming around for another scoring pass. Rich slap out of that penalty box. Coming up against that three wall in the back of that pack. Number eight, eight, eight. Whoever that is takes a tumble there with Witch slap. It's not Rocket coming around for another four points. Herdorino takes a swing and a miss at Witch Slap. Witch Slap, that was her initial pass. No points yet on this gem for the Price Slashers. And it's not Rocket calls it off midway through the pack, holding the mark, holding the Price Slashers scoreless. Looking, look, looks like two points going, two more points going on the board there for the Markdowns. Markdowns just seven points below that double century mark at 193. Price Slashers at 88. It's a one and 105 point game here with just over 12 minutes left in the half. We've got number 14 felony assault on the jam line for the Price Slashers. Going to be joined by 55, Queen of Hearts for the Markdowns. And Felony Assault is going to be your lead jammer. Now look at that, Queen of Hearts coming around fast will not be your lead jammer. Possibly looking to take advantage of Felony's experience as a blocker. Felony scores four and calls it off. You would never know that Felony Assault spent the last two seasons with Flint as a blocker. Well, you know now because I done just told you. We got Peace War, one of our visiting coaches, number 27 on the jam line for the Price Slashers. And I cannot see the Markdowns jammer from here. I'll tell you when I do. That is Herdorino. Nope, nope, never mind. That is 187 Slam jamming for the Markdowns. Peace War coming out fast. She's going to be your lead jammer. But Slamlet, remember Slamlet had that incredible 32 point jam in the first half that catapulted the markdowns to the lead, which they still enjoy. Meanwhile, Price Slashers um, picked up one point in that jam. Markdowns held scoreless. And the Price Slashers have put number 25, Sugar Snaps, on the jam line there. Number 801, Anarchy, wearing the star yet again for the Markdowns. <laughs> and Sugar Snaps, meanwhile, having to push a little bit past her own teammate there to get through the pack. Little hit there from Four Leaf Clobber takes Sugar Snaps right into the middle. And it's Anarchy is going to be your lead jammer. <laughs> and look at that. And Sugar Snaps is in the middle again. Sugar Snaps still on that initial pass. Anarchy, meanwhile, coming around for that first scoring pass. And number one, two, two, Wicker Wench is lying in wait. 
There. Oh, never mind. Anarchy coming around for four. Sugar Snaps, meanwhile, getting led to the back of the pack again. Still on that initial pass. Sugar Snaps looking to get the star pass to Wicked Wench. And before she can, Anarchy's going to call it off. Looks like Anarchy picked up a couple more points there for the markdowns. That's going to bring them to just one point below that century mark at 199. Price Slashers also coming up on that century mark at 93. It's a 106-point game, and we have just under 10 minutes left to go in this first bout of the 2023 Black and Blue Weekend. Number 14, Felony Assault is out there jamming for the Price Slashers. Number 55, Queen of Hearts for the Markdowns, and Queen of Hearts is going to be lead jammer. Snot Rocket's got to let her go. Felony is out, will not be your lead jammer. And number 10 is Zaddy, going to force Queen to the back of the pack. Queen calls it. Looks like Queen stole one point for the Markdowns. That is going to put them at 200. The Markdowns have officially broken the second century mark with just under nine minutes left to go. And we have number 187 Slamlet back on the jam line for the Markdowns. Number 27 Peace War jamming for the Price Slashers. We've got an official, and we have an official timeout being called. We're back into action. It is 187 Slamlet on the jam line for the markdowns, but it is number 27 Peace War running away with lead jam for the Price Slashers. Slamlet, meanwhile, not that far behind. Peace War hits it and quits it, scores four and calls it off. Quick, quick jam there. We got Anarchy back on the jam line for the markdowns, and this is going to be number 101 Gadget out there jamming for the Price Slashers. Well, shifting around of the jammers there at the back of the pack. Number 15, Bolt, doing some. Nice footwork there, moving around to where she's needed most in the pack. Nice hit there from Felony Assault there of the Price Slashers on Anarchy. Gadget, meanwhile, stuck in the back of that pack. Both jammers stuck, as a matter of fact. Nice block in there from both teams. Big hit there from number 33, Pervy Sage of the Price Slashers. Felony going to force her to line up to the back of that pack. And looks like Pervy, Pervy Sage let again, yet yeah, again, lying in wait there for Anarchy. 
Gadget, meanwhile, coming up against some trouble of her own at the back. Herterino holding down that line of blue there at the back of the pack. Bolt going to come up to the front, trying to keep Gadget back. And 25, Sugar Snaps also going to come in to assist. And looks like we have a star pass being attempted. I saw Chip's hand touch his helmet a couple times. Yep, star pass achievement unlocked. It is number 69, star, taking a star for the first time this evening for the markdown. So she will not be your lead jammer. So I'm no, I'm no expert, but I think that means lead is still open. Gadget, meanwhile, still working her way through on that initial pass. Kirby Sage, meanwhile, keeping her line of blockers there. Oh, I've spoke too quickly. 69 star coming around for, I didn't see Chip's hand. He didn't hold it up long enough, so I don't know how many points. Looks like Gadget also attempting a star pass there. Oh, coming up against the wall of blue. Oh no, stars. Star, Star falls right the hell off, but it looks like Star did pick up one more point there for the markdowns. Price Slashers, meanwhile, just three points below that century mark at 97. And it is number one, two, two. I'm not sure who that is, sorry. That's Wicker Wench, number one, two, two on the jam line for the Price Slashers, number 55, Queen of Hearts out there for the markdowns. And nice sandbagging there by number 149 of the markdowns. Queen of Hearts is going to be your lead jammer. Oh, nice hit there. Ah, number zero of the Price Slashers, Queen of Anarchy coming around for four. Wicked Wench, meanwhile, still stuck on that initial pass. And the Markdown's pivot's gonna force her all the way to the back of that pack. Number six, nine, six, nine, doing a dynamite job, holding that line down for the Price Slashers. Oh no, and Anarchy is oh, Queen of Hearts headed to the penalty box. This is gonna be a power jam for the Price Slashers. And with just four minutes left to go in this bout, they could sure use it. Now I count five blockers on the track. No one wearing, oh, it's Wicked Wench. Pulls off the star pass, it is Zaddy Longlegs, number 10. If she can get that star on her head, she's going to be the Jammer, oh, and Four Leaf Clobber getting called out on a forearm for blocking that star pass. Oh, and before we can, before we can say what the hell is going on, Queen of Hearts is out of that penalty box, coming around for four, and Zaddy Longlegs also coming around for four. Oh, and Anarchy headed, nope. Why do I keep calling her Anarchy? Queen of Hearts headed back to the penalty box on a back block, still a power jam for the Price Slashers. And they have broken that century mark at 101 points. Well, it looks like Queen of Hearts picked up two before going to that penalty box. So this is going to be a power jam for the Price Slashers. And we have Number 999, Witch Slap on the jam line. Pack's moving at a nice moderate speed here. Witch Slap's got to get past Snot Rocket. Oh, Snot's got to let her go. And Witch Slap, Witch Slap is going to be your lead jammer. Queen of Hearts, meanwhile, out of that pack with a vengeance. And Witch Slap's coming around for four points. Ruby Bruiser's got to let the queen go. Which left could be looking to score a few more. Oh! 
And it looks like Witch Slap wasn't able to score anymore before, she, before Queen of Hearts forced a call off there. We have just one and a half minutes left to go in this bout. And we have number 187 Slamlet back on the jam line for the markdown. It's gonna be joined by number 14, Felony Assault of the Price Slashers. And that pack is tight, tight, tight. Felony finds a hole first, coming up against that wall of blue at the front. Stars has to let her go, so does Four Leaf Clobber. Felony Assault is going to be your lead jammer. Oh, nice hit there from Peace War there in the middle of the pack on Slamlet. But Slamlet just keeps right on trucking. Felony, meanwhile, coming up on the scoring pass, getting stuck in the back. Felony calls it off, but Felony did steal two points there for the Price Slashers. Markdowns held scoreless. This bout has been a really good lesson in how you just cannot predict how things are gonna shake out from the first few jams. If you remember, at the beginning for the first few minutes of our first period, looked like the Price Slashers were gonna have the advantage holding the mark down scoreless for four or five jams straight. Then the Price Slashers got a penalty on their jammer and that power jam was all the markdowns needed to take the lead and just run with it. And now we have Anarchy back on the jam line for the markdown. It's gonna be joined by Tracula for the Price Slashers. Anarchy is going to be lead jammer. Tracula, meanwhile, getting stuck in the back of that pack there by some very determined markdowns. Not Rocket Science gonna throw a shoulder in there. Her Reno also gonna come around to assist. And Anarchy takes advantage of that, comes around for four points. Dracula go, Dracula looking to get the star pass, but Zaddy Longlegs is stuck behind her in the pack. Oh, she comes out on that initial pass. Dracula is not your lead jammer. Anarchy calls it off, scores four more, calls it off. That's gonna be the end of the bout. And we do not have the final score up just yet, but I think it's safe to 